Hey everybody, my name is Gunnar Welcome come back from the video of NHL 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and uh, did completed the playoffs, really. We did, unfortunately, could not finish uh, the uh, past the second round once again. We almost got swept, but came back by with two wins by putting Drieger in the net instead of Tuka Rask. And uh, somehow it helped us out, but in the third, uh, the final game, the fifth one, Unfortunately, Trigger could not do the deed, boys. He uh, shot the bed completely, gave up seven goals, and we uh, we had to lose. So we ended up losing to Vancouver Canucks. But the finals uh, of the Cup War ended up being uh, the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Montreal Canadiens. And the Chicago Blackhawks frustrated the Montreal Canadiens once again for a second, year, uh, second time in three uh, years. Uh, for them, I guess, they uh, lost in the finals and Chicago ends up winning uh, the cup once again. So they came, they made a huge comeback. So now we're getting ready to do the draft a lottery. I went ahead and did a little bit of modifications to my players. So if I go to edit players for a little bit, if we go to Latin and all these players, um, Malkin and everything, I went ahead and modified them so they have actual big time uh, zone abilities and stuff like that, right? The big time abilities, the X factors. They didn't have any of those. Well, Latin had one, but uh, they didn't have any. So now they have the smaller abilities and all the big ones. So Malkin can big time score on their one timers and all. And uh, Tukaraska gave them uh, gave him some. You know, obviously I'm gonna give him uh, some abilities so he gets a little bit better and all. So give the the bigger players, I guess, the elite players, and giving them some small attribution or some small small stuff really. So. Let's see what we can do. How far are we into the first round uh, right there? Do we have a first round pick? We do. So we are 28th position. I don't know how far we're going to be able to make it uh, over there. But let's see what we can do. I did get uh, last year a really good first overall pick. So maybe we can get uh, a lock, lucky again. But we'll see, boys. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's try and move up five from five picks first off. Uh, I probably have some good players that uh, these teams are going to want. So let's see what skaters first. So this is my big time, my first overall pick that I picked up last year. Uh, power forward, right? Really good player. He had a fantastic season in the minors, boys. Look at that, 75 points and all. So he's growing fast, uh, uh, really fast and quick. 75 overall and everything. Uh, Trubarov, we got in there. We also have that low elite, uh, 67 overall. He's not going to grow as much as fast because he's playing already. He shouldn't be playing, but he was already signed, boys. Uh, Vituel Lama, Alexandrov. We got uh, Alexandrov as a potential elite as well. And Vituel Lama. So we got some really uh, big time elite players. Uh, I can probably try and trade away maybe some, uh, some two top nines and stuff like that. That could... Even one top nine could do the trick, probably. Yeah, one top nine could uh, can do the trick, boys. So we're going to do that. Trade away our little prospects that don't mean anything to us, boys. One, two, three, four, five. So uh, to the Calgary Flames pick right now, we're going to try and move up as much as possible, boys. So let's get ourselves another, uh, another one right there. So let's see if that's going to go through. Probably not. No, so now we're going to have to give up a little bit more. Uh, the medium seventh defenseman as well. Why not? They don't want that. Okay. It's going to take a little bit more, boys. So maybe these three players. There we go. They accepted for these three players. So we moved up again. So we're now we have the 18th pick. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe we could go at 13. Uh, in the top 15, boys, would be very good indeed. So let's see if we can make it happen. I don't have anybody to really trade away. I have Vendeveld. Uh He's a potential goaltender that I could trade away, but I don't really want to do that. And the only really other option is this guy. I can definitely get a better draft for him. So we are going to try and trade away uh, Trubarov pretty quick, but uh, we are 18th, right? So let's try and get the 8th pick. Move up by 10 pick or instead of 5 of them. Yeah, okay, so we can't do the trades just yet because the first round pick just got picked. Bedar, boys. Holy shit. Connor Bedar. Franchise, medium franchise player. Oh, the, uh, the, the Jets 
are going to be doing really good with, with uh, having a, a franchise player like that. That's good for them, I guess. That's really good for them. Happy for them, but the, right now we got to get ourselves our luck. So Jubarov, please give us stuff. Oh, we could probably... Yeah, we can definitely get further even. Even like the fifth pick or something. I'm pretty sure we can get the fifth pick uh, in there. Yeah, I think uh, it's definitely doable, boy. So let's try and get as farther as possible with that. Uh, yeah, I think we can get the fifth pick for Trubarov and our first. Let's see. Not enough. Okay, no, it's not It's not enough to convince them. Okay, well, in that case, maybe the, the, third or the sixth pick. We can try like uh, we're gonna try and move like back to back like that. Uh, I definitely I, I don't really care about Trubarov that much, boys. That's why I'm trying to trade him away. Okay, so it's not gonna work out for the sixth, seventh pick maybe, because I know the eighth pick I can get it for sure. I mean, uh, there is no way they're gonna refuse for the eighth pick, I guess. So Trubarov, there we go. Let's try and get it right there. Not at all. All right, all right. I got you. 8th pick, I guess. The, don't tell me 8th pick is not available then uh, either. Uh, is the, if the 8th pick is not available, I am going to lose my mind. I don't want to... No, I don't want to trade uh, Majizny. Okay, all right, all right. Um, well, I guess we're not moving from that far away, I guess, then. I guess the 10th pick. We're going to try out for the 10th pick, boys. Top 10, maybe. At least. At least top 10, please. I mean, Chubarov's a good, uh, a good prospect. Like, don't disrespect him like that now. There we go. Yeah, don't disrespect Chubarov like that. All right, so we got ourselves a, a top 10 pick, boys. There it is, just like that. So we moved up quite nicely. Send the pick. Who's going to be the next player? 83 overall, power forward, right winger, Antila, medium elite. Pretty good, pretty good right there. Uh, third pick, defensive defenseman, medium elite. So not too good for them. Sniper, medium elite. There we go. Grabowski. Uh, Pittsburgh's going to get themselves a, a left winger sniper, a uh, medium elite. Really good for them. And uh, there we go. Center playmaker, medium elite. Uh, another medium elite. Uh, lots of medium uh, elites, boys, this year. We're uh, only at uh, the seventh pick right there as well. Uh, Jagger, though, but Jagger is uh, a two way forward, so not too good. Oh, uh, there we go. There's a kind of a, not a bust, but kind of not an, not an elite that's for sure and what about here top four all right so we might be missing out there might not be any other elites available actually there is i mean montador it does say that he is an elite yeah this they're saying he's an elite he's a playmaker as well so they're just just the team's probably missing out on him any other players that we need to look at first though yeah we know for, okay so these this is a fact these two right there are medium elites guaranteed so we're definitely going to pick these guys up. Uh, these guys we are not too sure about. Uh, what uh, The other ones. Oh, this guy might be one as well. He might be a good one as well. So low elite and stuff like that. So we might be, have a uh, another good option. All right. So I know what I'm going for, I guess, in the first round, boys. Don't have a choice. I want to get that medium elite. Uh, Melvin Mumpdor. Welcome to Montreal. He's similar to George Thornton. He does have zone abilities. Look at that shock and ha. So he does have those zone abilities. Let's pick him up, boys. First round pick for this year. Medium elite left wing playmaker. There it is. We got ourselves another medium elite. Uh, another p big time prospect for us. So that's really, really, really good. And Baldwin. So we didn't miss out on anything. You know, uh, at all. We basically picked up the best player right there. Yeah, we definitely did. So let's move up. Second round pick, boys. Let's see what we're going to pick up. Now, we are in the 30, uh, 30s, and there are two other players that we're looking at, right? Which is, uh, I'm definitely going to pin them up really quick. I'm going to pin them just to make sure that I got them. So, these two players are both in the 150s, uh, or 100 and 150s, which means it's third, like, kind of fourth round pick for them. So, we have plenty of time before picking them up. Uh, what I want to do, though, is make sure that I do pick up the right person. So Miranov, we don't know anything about this guy. Uh, Schwartz either. We don't know anything about these uh, these players. I mean, we know the stats they have. Uh, pretty good stats, but I'm not going to pick anybody that I don't know anything about. Uh, we do know Leslie is a guaranteed medium top four. 
and he's got some good decent stats i guess j bowmister comparison he doesn't have any zone abilities though if we want to really look at it we want to look into someone that might have like a zone ability and stuff no contest great uh all right so this guy might have some zone abilities but uh medium top four so you know we're not really interested in that we really want to look for somebody oh third eye this guy might be a good one uh Callan Lin, boys but two way forward two way forward or third eye he's got some of his own abilities i mean there's one guy the, a goaltender that literally is called matthias naslun boys seems like a good player uh, i don't think he's going to be an elite but look at those stats though it says a plus a plus a i don't i doubt that's the really the case but he does have some zone abilities we're gonna take a chance on this guy i guess the goaltender right here let's take a chance on him uh medium backup goaltender pretty garbage pretty garbage boy so uh nothing uh to be home about oh schwartz was a low elite all right yeah schwartz was a low elite. uh and that was the guy that was uh had zone abilities i think right probably i think it was so yeah, we got to look into the ones that have zone abilities, I think. These are the ones we really, really want to look into uh, as much as possible. So, third eye right here. Now, this guy, Lind, has a zone ability. I'm going to pick up Lind, boys. He has a zone ability. I feel like I, I need to pick him up. There we go. Uh, not too shabby. He's a two-way four, so we're definitely never going to play him. He's a trade bait. Am I going to miss out on my player that I want to pick, uh, that I, I wanted to pick up? Probably, right? Cox. Yeah, I missed out on Cox, boys. Medium uh, elite. I should have picked him up. 48 overall. Medium elite goaltender. I should have picked him up. I, I missed out on him. That is not good. I'm not going to miss out on the other one, though. Hopefully, they didn't pick him up uh, either. No, they didn't pick him up. They didn't pick up uh, Charov. So, let's pick up Charov. There we go. Low elite. Defensive defenseman. So, pretty garbage but uh we still want to keep him uh for sure all right so and back-to-back -back draft picks as well so now really want to pick up some good players in there artman nothing crazy about any of these guys and we want to look into these guys though the ones that haven't been really uh looked into that much no comparison uh let's me look into anyone that has a comparison really would be good enough i guess there's nobody that has a comparison, so no, nothing at all to be crazy about right here. And uh, what about over here? Anybody that has a comparison? Hamad Neal, hybrid goaltender, had some pretty good stats overall uh, in the uh, D League, though. So it's a garbage uh, league, but good stats. We'll see if he's uh, a good, decent uh, goaltender, fringe starter. Absolutely garbage, of course, so... Of course, we're missing out on good players, potential good players. I don't know what to look for, to be honest. I think what I should look for the most is definitely like a, a top four or something. So a low top six like this. Power four, low top six. Let's try a lock. He's 19 years of age, but absolute garbage. Okay, never mind. So you're not going to get a lock on that. Uh, anybody whatsoever that we could get a, a lock on. Like any luck whatsoever. Like in these marks right here. We don't want uh, medium or anything. We want, we want lows. So a low top six, uh, top nine sniper could be good. Uh, low top four, but an enforcer. A low top nine is uh, 19 years of age as well. So I'm not going to pick that. Caesar Jelena. Dahl, Neil. Like I don't know what to go for really. I, I really don't know boys. Let me go for this Pittis guy, I guess. He's two-way for a uh, two-way defenseman. So that was my last pick. Uh seventh defenseman. Pre and not a really good draft pick. Aside for the first one, the first pick, which was Montador, which uh was medium elite. I really don't have anything, really. I didn't get anything at all. Uh we do have to re-sign some coaches. Uh all of these coaches are actually done. They're all going away. All right. Well, in that case, I'm, I'm getting all of them. Yeah, I'm getting rid of all of them. So basically, all my AHL coaches need to be re-signed. I'm, I'm releasing all of them, boys. Uh, obviously doing that. Go to uh, scouts. So we do need to re-sign some scouts right here. So re-sign him big time. And uh, who else do we need to re-sign right here? It's uh, this guy right here. This guy. There we go. 
Anybody else? No, I think everybody else is good. All right, then. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and uh, we fired uh, the, the head coach and everything. So that's uh, good in itself. Coaching staff, we can't hire anybody just yet. So um, we're going to need to look for the entire coaching staff for the AHL and stuff. First off, though, we do have our contracts that we need to look at. So let's look at it really quick. I don't think we're going to have too much to do this year. Uh, we just need like uh, a good uh, forward, a depth forward. I think we have the option within uh, Johansson, Johansson or Paul. So either one of these guys could do the trick, boys, definitely. We, all, uh, we have all the centers we need. We don't need any more centers right now, boys. Vitual Emma, I'm going to keep him in there until I have no choice but to sign him. I'll keep him in there. He's a grinder. It's going to be tough to, for him to grow, though. Uh, uh, left winger uh, wise, one, two, three, four. So we got our four left wingers. We have a Timishov as well, if we ever need him. Uh, I think uh, we don't really need him that much, though. Uh, I think he's probably going to end up just staying in the minors. Uh, we've got uh, one, two, three, four. And yeah, we got our four players. Uh, we still have our four players, boys. And we've got Machisney and Montador. Uh, we got three left wingers for the future and stuff like that. Uh, Machisney, I'm going to keep him in there. I'm going to keep growing him. He's going to be in the a high 80s, boys, or the mid the 80s by, by the end of the season. So that one, uh, I want him to be ready like crazy. Like when we bring, once we bring him up, I want him to almost be in, like, in the first line or something like that. So we're going to wait on, uh, on him. We already have all the players we need uh, in Timishov and everything. So we're good. Our right winger, one, two, three. Uh, three players for the right wing position. We got Ornquist, but Ornquist, I feel like I can get a better player than him. He was a decent player. He got 27 goals for us, uh, I, I believe, right? Yeah, he, he played the entire season with us. So he, he's all right. But I feel like I can get better, boys. So, uh, Arnquist, we're just going to release him. And we're going to see if we got a better option for the right wing position. Uh, we got two right wingers for the minors. Bastion, do we want to re-sign him? He's a 2 a 4 so absolutely not. Uh, we don't want to re-sign him. Clement, I'm not going to sign you. All right, so we're going to need uh, one right winger for the, for the actual league itself. And we're going to need two of them for the minors, uh, basically. So that's what we're going to need defenseman wise what do we got so one two three four five six defensemen we basically got our six defensemen already uh, we got vince done but it's just one too many defensemen in there we got too many of them so vince done we're gonna have to release him boys uh we also have susie now susie good defense he's a defensive defenseman though so we gotta release him we're gonna need uh, a good defenseman uh, like a two-way or something that is uh, going to be our depth uh, big time. Uh, for the minors, we are going to need one, two. We, we have one, two, three. So only three defensemen. We have three defensemen only. Uh, let's see really quick with him. Yeah, I, I want to re-sign Victor Mele. Sure. Uh, why not? We got uh, five of them. Yeah, five years for Victor Mele, boys. At 2.125. So five years for you. So that's going to give us four defensemen. What about Borgen? Defensive defenseman, absolute garbage. We don't want him. And the rest, well, I'm not signing them. So we're going to need uh, a depth defenseman and uh, two defensemen for the, uh, the minors as well. All right. Next up, goaltenders, boys. Last but not least, Tukarask and Drieger are still signed. It's, the last, it's going to be the last year contract for Drieger. Uh, once we uh, get rid of him, we're basically going to need uh, another goaltender big time. Uh, D uh, Doomnik is still in there. And Dakar is in there. We don't really have another goaltender available to us. So I might as well play sign Dakar back again, boys. Yeah, I might as well sign him back. I uh, don't have any other options. Actually, I might have a good option. You know what? Yeah, no, let's get rid of Dakar because uh, I think we can get better goaltenders. Uh, for the miners, definitely. So we are going to need a miner goaltender. So that's all we need. We don't need a lot, boys. We basically got everybody, uh, really. So uh, he accepted the renewal. Yes, both uh, scouts. Uh, Mete is back. And that's about it. That's the only one I needed to re-sign, actually. So let me make sure everybody's re-signed. 
Yeah, everybody is. Everybody's re-signed, boys. So uh, let's send to the free agency. Not a whole lot we had to do right there. It's pretty pretty fast, boys. Pretty fast situation. Uh, first thing we're going to do, uh, do, though, is we're going to look into our coaching staff. We obviously want to get ourselves some coaches for the AHL. We're probably going to have a better AHL coaching staff than the NHL itself. So let's see who between these three guys do we want to to get as the main coach. I think it's this guy. Yeah, we want this guy. So Verdino, AHL head coach, and we're gonna give him as much money as he uh, as he, we can possibly give him. We're gonna give him five million, boys, to be the AHL coach. I mean, he's gotta accept that five million. That's a big ass deal. Usually, he wants to be paid like two million. So. It's double the amount, double the amount of the salary. So you get, you're getting paid, my guy. You're getting paid, and uh, all you're you're being done in, in exchange is uh, you're getting uh, downwards, right? Instead of being an NHL, you're in the AHL. So I want you to be an ACS associate coach on your on your par. He's gonna be in around the four million uh, for this one and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't have any salary key, uh, salary cap, so I can. I can sign these coaches for how much money, how many money I want. Uh, money doesn't matter. I can literally get them for uh, however I want, really. So I sign them for uh, for the deal I want. So 4.3. Let's give him 4.4, I guess, just to make sure. 4.4 at uh, ace, uh, associate coach. We're going to need our assistant coach. So this is going to be our, our assistant coach right there. Let me make sure really quick. There we go. Assistant coach. The two other coaches that were available, boys, do do have other teams uh, interested in them. So that's going to be a tough one. Now, for goalie-wise, who do you want as the goaltender uh, uh, coach? I think this one seems like a really good one. So we're definitely going to get this guy as the goaltender coach. Let's uh, let's get him really quick and give him like double the amount of money, as much money as we can give him, really. So uh, I don't think we're going to be able to go too far. Yeah, that's the maximum we can go. So there we go. So let's hope that they all accept my contracts. If they all accept, it's going to be fantastic. If not, well, I'm going to have to make do with something else. Let's go to the free agency, boys. I'm ready to do it. Uh, first off, UFA only. There we go. And already you can see we've got Pasternak as an option. And we did need uh, a right winger. So, oh, there's a lot of options. Look at that. Mekinen is uh, is available as well. So center-wise, we've got Mekinen. Uh, Mekinen. Now, obviously, he's a 95 overall player. For me, exact franchise. He's a franchise player at 95. Should I really pass up on a guy like that, boys, when I know I can get him with money? I mean, I've got too many centers. That's a problem. I already have all the centers I need. But I could trade away one of the centers, I guess. But that would waste one of my trades. But I think I should get him a 95 overall. Uh, who's not going to go for him? Right? Obviously. Obviously, I got to go for him, boys. I obviously got to try and sign him. Like, this is just obvious right there. So, I got to get him. I got to get this man. It's 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 a must. Not going to sign him for seven years. Going to give him a small three-year deal just to put him at 30 years uh, of age. And uh, we're going to give him 12 million, boys. So 12. Let me give you 12.50. Uh, so 12.50. All right. For three years. Let's see if you're going to accept that. If you don't accept, it is what it is. Left wingers, nothing crazy. So we're going to skip on that. Right wingers. There we go. So Pasternak. Definitely going to get him. And plus, if we don't get Pasternak or if we don't get Mekinen, we can get either one of those. So they can both play the right wing anyways. Uh, Pasternak. Let's see what we got. Great season last year. Obviously. Like uh, he's playing great. So uh, we definitely want a player like him. Sniper as well. Definitely picking up, uh, picking him up boys. Uh, uh, lots of teams are interested in him of course. Uh, same thing for him though. Only a 3 year deal. At 1.25. Or, or at 12.15. Uh, so... We're giving him a little, just a tad much more than uh, McDavid. McDavid is better, but for some reason, Pasternak is asking for more, boys. So it is what it is. And we do need two minor players. Now, here's the major difference this year, uh, this time around. For the minor players, I am not 
afraid to go into the 80s. Now, I'm not going to go into the 80s this time because it's two way forwards. But if there's some snipers or playmakers or whatever that are interested, uh, interesting to me, I am going to go for them. Like, uh, I'm going to uh, make them play in the minors and stuff like that, definitely. But right now, it doesn't seem like that's the case. So we're going to go for uh, Martin Furk. Why not? Martin Furk seems like a good one, sniper and stuff like that. So we're going to sign him. And um, if we want him for, I guess, a good amount of time. We want him for a long time. So six-year deal, boys, at uh, 1.975. Uh, we're going to be stuck with the uh, these guys. Uh, big you know, term. We need another uh, another minor one. We don't want to get uh, go for uh, Allison because he's going to grow. So not too good. Uh, we don't want that. We want somebody that uh, is going to be good for us. So there we go. Bre uh, Brett Ritchie. There we go. Brett Ritchie could be a good one. Power forward, boys. Let's get him for five years at uh, 2.35. Easy enough, boys. All right. Defenseman-wise, we do need a defenseman. It's, a, it's between Dumba and Uyghur. So let's see who which one is better. I think Dumba is better than uh, Drieger, boys. We're going to pick uh, Dumba uh, just because he's better. And uh, we're going to give him the six-year deal or seven-year. We are going to give him the seven-year deal, I guess. Yeah, give him the seven-year deal at uh, eight, uh, eight point, uh, actually 9.15, actually. Seven, seven-year deal is a lot, though, I feel like. He's 86 overall, right? He's not in the 90s. No, you know what? No, I'm going to give him a two-year deal. I'm giving him a two-year deal at uh, 8 million because I don't want, like, I don't want to be, I want to be stuck with him for too long, you know? I want to be stuck with him in the 35 years of age or something. That would be pretty bad. Uh, minor league, though. We do need two minor league players, uh, defensemen. So now we got plenty of options right here. Uh, it's a bunch of t defensive defensemen. We can get Cal Foot. But he can still grow, so we're not going to go for him. So I guess we're stuck in his 70s. Uh, high 70s again. Two-way forwards. We got Delzado. Let's get Delzado, I guess. Let's get Delzado in there. Two years. Why not? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, two years for you, buddy. And uh, we're giving you... We're giving you the 2.2 uh, treat right here. 2.2 uh, million. Just like that for two years. And other, uh, the other one... I mean, we could go for Kulikov, I guess. Kulikov, Johansson. What about, uh, he can still grow, so I'm not going to do that. So it's either Kulikov or Ferenc. No, Ferenc can grow. Yeah, we're going for Kulikov, boys. So Kulikov's got to be the other one. Three-year deal at uh, 2.525. Uh, there it is, boys. The f uh, now, finally, the last one, boys. Goaltending. Now, we do need a minor goaltender. Let's find out, is there any good goaltenders available to us? Plenty of 80s uh, goaltender. And uh, 80s goaltender, I think Russo, we need an exact one. So I think uh, Uso, Comrie, uh, we got these options. We've got Wedgwood as well. We've got to figure out a really good goaltender though. Stalak, all right, so uh, he's got uh, 9.16. So Stolars, uh, Stolars uh, seems to be a good one. Uh, Hutton as well. Oh, uh, Wedgwood seems to be the better one. Even better for... Okay, we're getting some really good ones. So, Comrie. Comrie is going to be the def uh, the goaltender, boy. So, three-year deal for you at uh, 1.9, buddy. 1.9 million three-year deal for you. There it is. All right, so uh, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. That's the only ones I'm going for right here, boys. So, let's see what happens. Who signs with us? Uh, Verdino, there we go. We got the uh, head coach. We got him, boys, for five million or something like that. Uh, we did not get uh, uh, Clarkson, unfortunately, for the associate coach. We did get the uh, goalie coach, though, so that's really good. Let's uh, continue right, uh, really quick. So we did not get uh, the uh, head coach. So we're still uh, we're still looking for the assistant coach, waiting on him, but the associate coach refused to go with us. So is he in the A's? Oh, he's in the A's. No, that's the associate coach. So we're wait we're waiting on the associate coach. It's the assistant coach that refused for somehow. And and that's interesting. We're gonna pick uh Breen then. Breen seems to be the, the best option other than that. So uh AHL assistant coach, I guess, and let's give you all the money in the world, buddy. All right, two point five uh five million boys, two point five. 
Let's see if he's gonna accept. I mean, he should accept. It's the maximum amount of money I can give him anyway. So, uh, let's see. Who else is gonna join us? So, Parks. We got our assistant coach. Just like that. There we go. He accepted. So, uh, AHL assistant coach. Uh, we need our associate coach then. Oh, okay, hold on. It's our associate coach that we need then. Interesting. Well, all right. We're going to wait on it, I guess. So uh, I'm going to accept your contract, but the role offered is already filled. Yes, I already know that. So we got Comrie, Richie, Kolikov, and Delzado, and Ferk. So all our little depth players and stuff like that, they decided to sign. Uh, so that's really good. But uh, now we only need our associate coach. So I'm going to go back for the same guy. Again, go back for the same guy, but this time around, uh, I'm going for associate coach, actually. So you're giving um, you're getting a bigger role, I guess. All right, so the contract has been offered once again. Same deal, boys. Exact uh, same deal, but the main difference is there's other people interested in him. So I appreciate your interest, but I've decided to go with another team at this time. You simply have not offered me the dollars I feel I deserve. Well, I offered you a lot of money, my guy. Uh, it's just you didn't want those years. It's those years that he didn't want. He, want, he didn't want a, a three-year deal. So Pasternak did not sign with us. And Mekinen either. All right. We did not get any of these two. That's great. Uh, so we're going to have to go look for another uh, right winger, boys, unfortunately. We did get uh, Damba. But uh, we're going to have to look for another right winger instead. So we had our luck. We had our chance to get Pasternak or uh, Mekinen. But unfortunately, uh, because we only wanted to sign them for a minor, uh, like a, like a, a short-term deal, they did not want to sign with us. They wanted a long-term deal, so that's unfortunate. I guess the only option, other option, is Ornfist. So I guess Ornfist is coming back for us, boys. He's coming back with us. So I'm gonna sign you, buddy. Don't worry, you're coming back for a four-year deal, at uh, five point fifty as well. So. Orkfuis, I guess he's coming back for us, but he's coming back with us. And uh, Tyson Breen decided that uh, he did not want to sign with us, unfortunately. Well, that's great. So I'm going to have to look for another coach. Hold on, boys. I'm going to go for this Orton guy. He's the only one that doesn't have any other teams interested in him. So I'm pretty much guaranteed to have him, I guess. So uh, there we go. I'm happy to join. We got him, boys. Now I'm just waiting on uh, one guy, basically. I'm just waiting on my other one. So Ornquist, there we go. That's the only one I was waiting on. And uh, now we're good. So we can actually hop on in. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. We can hop on into the actual season, boys. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's go to the re uh, regular season. All right, boys. I got uh, my lineups ready. This is what we're going to be starting with, at least, uh, for the beginning of the season. We're going to have Yarncroc in the first line with Wen uh, Wenberg and Rackle. Uh, Allison, Ryan Strom, and uh, Dustin Brown. Palat, Malkin, and Ornquist in the third line. Yes, I know Malkin in the third line, boys. But uh, he's starting to drop off. And I'm basically focusing on the zone abilities. Uh, not the zone abilities, but uh, on the skating abilities. His endurance, not a high up as... Uh, uh, Ryan Strom is equal to Ryan Strom and Wenberg. Uh, the difference, once I look at endurance, if they're tied up, I look at durability afterwards. Can they be physical? Can they endure physical strength? Can they, are, they, are they gonna lose the puck a lot? That's what I'm looking at, boys. And it looks like the best options are all the way Wenberg, Strom, and Malkin in that order. So that's what we're gonna do for that order. We're going to go Malkin in the third line for now. And uh, we've got Timishov, Yamkrok, and Eberle in the third line. All right. So that's what we're going to be uh, working with right here, I guess. We're working with that. And uh, defense-wise, we got Damba, Letan, Zboril, Larson, and uh, uh, Shinnington, and Burns. Brent Burns in the third uh, duo by our boys. And we've got Tukarask and Drieger, of course. As crush players, we got Fleury and Johansson as available options. For the AHL, this is what it looks like, as you can see. So we got uh, some really good D, uh, depth in there as well. And uh, we've got Comrie and Dubnik. So we got some good defensemen. Uh, we got some good team. Uh, not all-star. Not any all-star uh, players. Our, our all-star player used to be Malkin, but not anymore. So uh, we don't have any all-star players anymore. And uh, I think what we got instead is a depth uh, defensive team, right? 
So we really got to take that into consideration. Uh, we uh, did not manage to get the star studded players like Pasternak or Mikkonen, which would have helped us out tremendously for our team, but we couldn't do it. Uh, Malkin still are the are, are a assistant. I don't really have anybody to put at as our captain. And Malkin says he's playing on the third line. Oh, he is our captain. Malkin is our captain. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm 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 cool with that. I'm cool with Malkin being our captain, boys. So let's go ahead and uh, sim sim to the pre the first preseason game. We're gonna go ahead and uh, and do the, all of our things right here. So we're gonna sim to the regular season. I don't wanna have to deal with the preseason. I don't care about that. I mean, we're gonna look at how it looked like uh, for the stats and everything. But um, otherwise, other than that, nothing at all. So let's see what it looked like the preseason that is. So five and two basically for the record for the preseason. Preseason went pretty good, all things considered, boys. So uh, let's start our pre. Uh, let's start our actual season right here. Let's see how it's gonna go, boys. Hopefully, we're gonna have a really good season once again. I mean, we were the best team of the league last year. I'm thinking we can still get it done, although uh, we probably have a weaker team because our our veterans are getting uh, older and stuff like that. I still think we can get it done. So. Let's see really quick. First game against um, the St. Louis Sharks. A shootout win. So that's really good for us. The St. Louis Blues. Can we get a win right there? That's uh, going to be a regulation loss for nothing. Not too good. Not too good. Still think we uh, we can do decent right here. Winnipeg Jets. That's a shootout loss. Not uh, good at all. Okay. Uh, let's keep it going against uh, the uh, Nashville. There we go. We won a game against Nashville. Arizona, we can beat them definitely. Yeah, they're a trash ass team. Let's uh, let's beat them again. Yep, there we go. That's two easy wins for against uh, them. Even though we're, it seems like we're giving up a lot of goals right here. So we gotta be careful. The defending Stanley Cup champions, Blackhawks, we defeated them. Good. Uh, what about the P Tampa Bay Lightning? That's gonna be a loss against them. The uh, Panthers, another loss. So we are not lucky in Florida, I guess. Not good at all. And one last game of simulation against Arizona. That's going to be a win. Yeah, Arizona is easy to win. So we're getting these easier win early, early on. So 10 first games. 6-3-1 of a record. Our best player is Ryan Strom. 12 points. All right, not too shabby. Let's take a look first at our lineups. Just to see who at, uh, what happens with our first line. Our first line is not doing good. Second line not doing too good either. All of our lineups are not doing too good. I think our fourth line is doing fine. A third line is doing fine as well, I think. Uh, but uh, could be doing much better. That's for sure. Yeah. I think the main difference is Wimberg got five, uh, four, it's got four points. I think what we should do is instead put Malkin in the second line. I look at and I. Yeah, I want to put Malkin in first. I think I should put Malkin in first. Yeah, I think I should do it. Put Malkin in first right there and put him Rackle and Yarncrock. Why not? Put it in there, boys. Put him in there. I'm going to focus on... It says it's a first liner. So in Wimberg, they say, uh, they're saying he's a second liner. So we're going to do that. Let me uh, take a look really quick. Second line and... Yeah, first line. Okay. Second line for him and second line for him. Okay, so that seems all good. All right, everything else seems all right to me. Maybe the defense. I need to switch it up a little bit. I feel like it. Third pair is doing fantastic. For the rest, though, I'm not too, uh, not so sure about that. I can't switch up that that I got uh, I got to stick it with. Uh, what about these guys though? That's a top four for sure, and these are top four. So I gotta put one of them in there instead. Okay. Oh well, I got you. I guess in that case, I'd put uh, Burns in there. I guess so that's what I would do. So uh, yeah, Brent Burns is gonna be on the left wing, and uh, yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough, and Burwell does have to grow, keep growing, so we're going to play him on the right position. Okay, good. I think that's fine as it is. For the next part, I think what we want to do is look at the team stats. So what do we have to upgrade? What don't we have to upgrade? So uh, it looks like we're kind of a tweener team in terms of goal scoring. So we're doing all right. Uh, goals against, we're doing fine as it is, okay. And uh, power play. Our power play garbage. It's absolute garbage, so it's not good. 
Uh, penalty kills great though, so it's our power play that's uh, struggling, I guess. Uh, we're gonna keep it going though for another 10 games, see if uh, anything changes at all. So that's gonna be a, uh, for the first game a loss against uh, the New Jersey, uh, the, the New York Rangers. Tuka Rask, of course, got himself injured. He always is injured, boys, and that is the thing that's frustrating me the most: the fact that he's always injured. And Drieger plays a lot of games because of that. But look, I need I need better luck than this. I mean, I, I can't be uh, I can't keep having uh, a, a guy like Tr uh, Rask right here, a guy that is literally dropping fast in terms of because of his uh, of his age, and he's clearly getting injured over and over again. It's not good for us. Uh, we did get a shutout win against uh, Buffalo. That's gonna be a loss against Tampa Bay, though. So that's uh, one and two. And we got another injury. Mark Giordano in the minors got injured. We got to replace him with uh, Evans, which we weren't playing. I forgot to play him. He's uh, he, uh, he is my low elite. I should probably play him after all. That's kind of uh, my battle uh, right there. So we're going to put Kulikov in there. And uh, for the rest, I guess, who else do we want to put? Uh, endurance. I think I'll, I guess I'll, I'll put uh, Aden in there. Why not just put Aden in there? And uh, for extras, we might as well put him in the extras. Uh, my defenseman, that is. Put Ryan Evans in there or something in the uh, Riker Evans in the extras. We did uh, win in the sh uh, we get We did get a shootout win against uh, Toronto, which is really good. Chicago, can we beat them again? We can. Chicago is struggling against us, and there's the winning the, the winning team, boys, the, the uh, strongest team. So that's really good for us. Uh, Columbus, let's see really quick. That's going to be a loss against Columbus. We're not doing too good right now. Not doing too good. Uh, I don't like to see that. Tuka Rask is finally back. Uh, let's see what our goaltenders did. Uh, Carmery, he played one game and he lost. And he gave up four goals, so not too good. Drieger is doing all right, I guess. But he's not supposed to be a main starter. You know, he's supposed to be a backup. So that's uh, that's what's kind of bad right now. So, we, you know, we, we're not supposed to have him as a, a starter. So bring back in there. Go back to the lineups. I got to switch them back again, I guess. Switch my, my goaltenders. Listen, uh, you're getting replaced with Comrie again. There we go. And just like that. And let's continue, boys. So up against New Jersey. Can we win against them? Giordano is back. God, I keep getting distracted by all these injuries. So Giordano is back. What we want to do with him is we want to replace... Uh, I guess we'll re re replace uh, Delzado. We'll play uh, Giordano instead. He's definitely a top four. So he's definitely playing instead of Mede. That's for sure. So Mede is going to be playing there. Uh, Connor Carrick, actually. There we go. So Connor Carrick is going to play there. I think, yeah, I think everything's fine. And Jordan is going to be play on that side. All right, let's keep it going. Overtime win against uh, New Jersey. Good. Eberle got injured. God damn it. I keep having injuries, man. I cannot simulate for the life of me. All right, well, our first actual uh, injury for the, uh, the league itself. So for forwards. And uh, it looks like it's going to be Johansson. So Johansson... You're playing in there. You're playing in the fourth line. Let's see what you can do for us. Seven to six loss. Good lord, that's a that's a, a a game where the goaltenders did not show up at all. That's crazy. It's another last shootout loss this time around against um, the Buffalo Sabres. Seems to be a really tough one. Once again, a tough year, a tough start, boys, to the season. And final game, another overtime loss against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So we're losing in overtime. Those extra points, we're not getting them, boys. Not good at all. Uh, our best player is still Ryan Strom. 21 points in 20 games played. All right. Uh, let's take a look at our team stats. What do we have to change right here? What's What's been happening ever since right here, basically? So uh, it seems like we're scoring less and less goals. We're not. We're basically even. We haven't scored less or more goals, so we we kind of have a f uh, our our five on five is not too good, I guess. Uh, we got a good defensive team though. That's the thing. We got a good defensive team. Power play is pretty garbage. It's going up, I think. Our power play is going up, and penalty kill is going a little bit down, but still uh, in the best part. I think 
I don't know what to change, to be honest. I don't know what uh, we need to change because that was not a good uh, simulation. Last 10 games of simulation. Not too sure what we got to change. Uh, what about our goaltender? It's not our goaltenders. No, it's not our goaltenders' fault. They're doing their thing. So I'm not too sure what to do right here. All right, so I made a little bit uh, of tweaks here and there. Brent Burns is in the power play now. He wasn't in there for some reason, even though he's an offensive defenseman. So I made some tweaks here and there. And I changed some lineups, maybe. Uh, I don't I don't know. I remember really what I changed. I made uh, Dustin Brown is in there in the first line right now, boys, instead of Rackle. All right, I'm looking at Poise now, I guess. He's got 86 and Rackle's got 85. So maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. All right, we'll figure it out. I think that's the only change I did, though. So let's continue to simulate another t t uh, 10 games right here. Eberle got uh he's fully in uh fully uh back so what did the uh, johansson do not too much didn't do too great uh he, he did pretty bad actually everybody is back though so he's finally back in 80 of poise yeah he's he's staying in the fourth line for sure so that's a win against uh the oilers there it is uh, can we get some more wins though against the uh vegas golden knights yes we can there we go there's a win i just want to see those wins by uh, pile up boys there's a win against Los Angeles. That's three wins in a row. And that's going to be a loss against Calgary Flames right here. Seems like we're giving at least two to three goals per game, though, which is not too good, boys. Uh, giving a bit too many goals uh, to my liking. There's going to be another loss against uh, Nashville. Can we get some wins? There we go. There's a win, uh, shootout win against uh, the uh, St. Louis Blues. It seems like we're going a lot, most of the times, into overtime and shootouts. Look at that. Lots of um, special team. That just means that we're getting those extra points. But at the same time, like, can we get uh, some regulation wins and stuff? That would be very helpful. So there's a finally a win against Ottawa. Can we get a win? Nope. A loss. Regulation loss against New Jersey. And another regulation loss against Columbus. 9-4 to four as well. We're giving up a lot of goals. A lot of goals. And that's a 5-4-1 uh, record. 29 points in 30 games played. Ryan Strom, still our best player. We are kind of in the wild card spot right here. We got to start playing a little bit better. This is uh, this is a rough one, boys. It's a rough year. Even rougher than the last ones. We don't, uh, The problem is we don't have that superstar player anymore, like I said. So we don't have that player to like elevate us to a higher play. Uh, we are playing better, as you can see. Offensively, we're scoring more goals. Uh, we are giving up more goals as well, though. Not good. What about the, the, the power play? Power play going up a little bit. Good. Penalty kill, kind of the same old, same old. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, that, boys. Uh, let's going to continue to simulate. Don't have any much uh, else to do, really. So, I'm going to continue to simulate. There's two wins right there. Just like that. So, we got to keep doing that, I guess. Really don't have anything else to do to be but to simulate. I don't have anything to change. Just uh, can uh, all I gotta do is hope that my team starts having a little bit more ch uh, chemistry together and starts playing well. See, they're now they're having a good time, I guess. They're they're getting some shoutouts here and there. Uh, Giordano once again uh, got injured. This old timer get, keeps getting injured. It's kind of frustrating a little bit. Uh, gets uh, Del Zotto in there, I guess. And um, we're gonna have to figure out what I put in there. All right, so I'm going to put Mede in there, and Hutton is going to be dropped to the third duo right here. Uh, that's going to be a, a big-time loss against the uh, Washington Capitals. Not good at all, boys. And uh, let's see, the Jets. Can we win against them, please? A loss. Man, 6-5 to five loss. We're giving up a lot of goals, boys. I don't like that. We're giving way too many goals away. All right, like, shut the fuck up with Giordano, man. He keeps getting injured all the time. It's really frustrating and, he, and now he's back again but like stop being injured and you can i i, I saw it in a split second man i saw um I, I i literally saw uh malkin uh dropping to an 87 so he's now dropped even further boys not good at all not good at all all right uh, get him in there and uh get uh, that like that so that's what we're going to do there we go yeah that's not good at all now, we, did we end up winning that game uh, against uh, Montreal? We did. We, we won that game against Montreal. So that's at least pretty good. We got two more games to simulate. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. So that's a win against Pittsburgh. That's what I want to see, boys. Malkin is not our best player. That's definitely something I want to see. Last game of simulation for today against Calorana. And that's going to be a shootout win. A shoutout win. So that's really good. Really good. And our player now. So that's a record of 7-3. and three, So we're bouncing back up, boys. We're having a good record finally. Uh, which puts us into the third spot for the division. Really good. Really good. I want to see that. Malkin is now our best player at 36 points in 40 games played. So he's moving up there once again, boys. Uh, what about... Uh, okay, so what about our stats right here? Where are we at? Yeah, we're going up in terms of goals. So we're scoring more goals. Uh, we actually are playing better defensively for that one, that, uh, that part. So that's good. Uh, we got uh, a strong power play that keeps going up. That's good. And our penalty keeps going up as well. So everything seems to be working great right now. If we take a look at our lineups, that first line is struggling uh, quite a lot. It's giving up a lot of goals. That first line is not too good, boys. I'm not going to lie. Not too good. So I'm not too sure what to do with that. But uh, we're going to have to figure that one out, I guess. But Malkin is doing all right. And Yarn Croc is doing fine as well. I, I don't know what's the problem. Maybe it's Dustin Brown. But uh, it seems like the second line, the second line's doing really good. And uh, we got Talat in here with Ornquist, right? The third line is doing all right. Fourth line is struggling quite hard. Really struggling big time. And what about these guys? The per first pair is good. Second pair is not, too, not good. Third pair either. Well, not much I can do about that, boys. And Tukarask is doing all right. He's doing decent. Uh, he's doing decently, I guess. And how many um, wins? Oh, he's, he's five wins away from his 400. So we got to give it to him, man. He's got to get those five wins. All right. Well, that's pretty much it, boys. I don't know much else. Like, what else could I possibly do? I don't know. Uh, for right now, I guess I'm going to end the video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.